Good evening, and thank you for clicking on the long range weather forecast. And welcome to coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Go look now at the for, for the long range period of May 22nd to June 3rd. For May 22nd to the 26th, current block re, is forecast to remain across the middle and higher latitudes. Um, the block remains strong with upstream approach of extra tropical remains of former super typhoon Noel and current typhoon dolphin. This has led to rainfall and low daytime maximum temperatures across southwest, southern, and central plains, and this is forecast to continue. A split flow is forecast to persist this period along with a trough near the Aleutians. See it right here. A ridge here, a trough in the southwest, a ridge here across southeast, and a trough over eastern Canada extending across the Great Lakes in the northeast. Going to look now at the period from May 25th to the 29th. Here we are at the 26th, and the patterns forecast remain unchanged. And we still have our trough here in the southwest, a ridge over Alaska and western Canada, a trough near the Aleutians, a trough over eastern Canada, and a ridge over the southeast into the Mississippi Valley. Now we're going to look at the GFS as we go further in the period. We're going to go towards the to the 29th, and you can see right here that the GFS has almost a zonal flow, still kind of a split flow here with our ridge trough configuration, but a zonal flow basically across the United States with near to above normal heights across much of the nation. During this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures for this region, and above normal temperatures here. And we're going to take a look at temperature anomalies. I'm forecasting uh, above normal temperatures in northwest, southeast, middle Atlantic states. What anomalies are 10 to 15 degrees out for the northwest? and 15 to 20 degrees in the east. Below normal temperatures forecast southwest with anomalies of 15 to 20 degrees are forecast. For precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here, below normal precipitation for this region. Next now is a period from May 30th to June 3rd. Here we are at the 30th, and the G GFS still has above normal heights zonal flow across much of the nation here. We still have our, our ridge over Alaska as I back up a little bit, and we still have our trough here near the Aleutians. And then we go to June 3rd. GFS still has that. The other models are forecasting a breakdown of the split flow with the nearly zonal flow across much of the nation. The um, the GEFS collaborated tools forecast above normal temperatures for much of the nation and below normal temperatures for the southwest. And the NAEFS forecasts above normal temperatures for most of the nation, as does the GFS super ensembles. Okay, now um, we're, we're going to take a look at the temperature anomalies. Oh, I'm going to go to the map here. So during this forecast period, Forecasting below normal temperatures here, above normal temperatures across much of this region, and forecasting temperature anomalies of 15 to 25 degrees above normal for the West Coast State Central, Northern Great Basin, eastward to the Mississippi Valley, and most of the um, east, uh, most areas east of the Mississippi River. Below normal temperatures are forecast for portion of the southwest and the southern plains, as we can see right here on this map, and forecast anomalies of 15 to 20 degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation for the areas from the Mississippi Valley to Atlantic Coast. So this has been the long range weather forecast discussion 
for May 22nd through June 3rd. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.